I saw you uh, throw your hat into the ring of Fedor Emelianenko. Yes. He got COVID, I guess. I hope he I hope he overcomes it and comes out just as good, if not better. Epic with that. Did I understand correctly that that might be his last fight? Yes, that's my understanding. And How it would be epic would as be hell. A- and it would be epic as hell because the, the person that I want to give my most to is a person that I respect, especially at this this long uh at this long this 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 long career of mine and getting at this 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 his twilight well. years it's like two warriors yeah. and 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 that's the thing about even this going in there with the aspect of being with death and all that is that when that person is in there they are my brother with me in this and that so when you give me your best even if i even if i win dominant fashion but if you show up and you're as authentic and, and being here as i am then then i love you and i'm glad for yeah. you to be here and we're in this together and and at this point, you know, your loss or my loss or whatever is no less deserving of veneration than the win. Like we're here in this. And so to be in the ring with Fyodor and to venerate him in win or defeat, to be in there with with someone uh, like that is to me, it's so rare. So it's incredible how the ultimate violence is coupled with like, love or respect and it's like it's it's weird how this is uh how the competition in its violent form is also a uh veneration of just human connection it's also hum- the removal i feel like it's the purest one it's of honest, the purest like ways purest on it most honest places a person can exist uh that line in fight club you don't know really who you are until you've been in a fight i mean i believe that and uh, I've seen so many examples of people trying to portray themselves as one thing, and then in the ring, you see who they really are. Or even when they're trying to portray themselves as one thing and they're winning, the crowd at times will see who they really are and still hate them, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. It's like, but I said all the good things. Yeah. Bro, don't work that way. Yeah, but speaking of Fedor, if we take you out of the picture, mm. who are the greatest mixed martial arts uh, fighters of all time? Uh, I I feel you out of the picture as a cop out to some degree. I feel like we need a little bit more time, you know, so to 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 see how how this unfolds because you got to compare a lot of things. And I uh, did I did I I think I'm like I did centuries. An inter- I did an interview. <laughs> I don't know about centuries, but that would help if we can keep accurate records and and not allow uh, too much uh, bias to to fa- to fall in too much propaganda. The victor still yeah, the good story, right? Yeah, but um, I made an argument. Uh, I was in. An, I, I did a. It was it was a interview with an MMA outlet of some sort, and I can't recall who it was. But oh, it was an argument about will the winner of. Cain Velasquez versus Stipe Miocic be the greatest MMA heavyweight of all time. And I said, fucking no way. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it was Cormier and Miocic. That's what yeah. it was. I said, absolutely not, not even close. And I said, these guys need a bit more time to see how things go and also how things go for some of their opponents. And like, there's, there's more factors than just this one fight. It really is. And I go, and when you want to weigh these people, even if let's say we'll bring Alistair or uh, yeah, Alistair Overeem into the, into the equation. Okay. You judge him on what you know now, what he's done for you lately. Okay. Right. Which is a, a very myopic way of doing it. Yeah. What has he done over his career? K1 champion. Uh, he was a champion in uh, uh, Dream. Um, he strike force, blah, blah, blah. His overall record, the entirety of all the, the different opponents he's fought. And I just sit back and I go, I, okay, he's not the UFC champ, but his accolades, his merits, in some ways actually stand up higher than Cormier's and Miocic's. So what about the moments, do you give much value to the special moments, like the highest heights you rise to, not in terms of records mm-hmm. or the strikes landed, but just creating a magical moment in in a, in a, in a fight. It doesn't have to be even a championship fight, but just, you know, Conor McGregor yes. is an example of somebody who creates a narrative, who creates mm-hmm. a story, who creates mm-hmm. a drama, and a special magic happens, even if it's like not myth, with- like Myth Nadine. is greater than reality. 
and that is always the case. But do do you? And so I understand that so very much, and it takes an asshole like me to to poo poo on your myth. Yeah. They at least get you at the end of the day. You're not going to abandon your myth, but um, perhaps temper it with the facts and logic. <laughs> but uh, so but, you're not a fan of myth. No, I'm an absolute massive fan of myth. But you, you know, prefer facts and logic. It's like, it's like when I, no, I mean, it, they, they, <laughs> I, I like saying facts and logic because people, I also, I am not a materialist in that sense. I don't think that materialism can solve for everything. It's not yeah. enough. It's not, it's not robust enough. I'm sorry. If facts and logic and, or uh, reason as the enlightenment scholars all thought, uh, including Marx was enough for people, yeah. then we would never, we wouldn't have any religions. Yeah. We wouldn't have any, uh, like there would be no, we wouldn't have narratives and myths and all this kind of stuff. It would yeah. not, it just, I'm sorry, there is no, there's nothing about history that supports the idea that rationality will over will, yeah, the, will overcome all. There's something about Ben Shapiro's facts don't care about your feelings that feels to be miss, feels to be <laughs> missing something fundamental about human nature. It's not, clear to me well, he, ex exactly what is missing to give old old old, old, old ben, old, old, old ben <laughs> uh, a fair shake yeah. and uh you know i don't know ben shapiro i don't really listen to ben shapiro not against ben shapiro um i don't i'm not here to say anything particularly bad about him uh although i will say at one time tom arnold was seemingly trying to pick an actual fight with ben shapiro in the ring uh, he, uh, or in somewhere a, yeah and i just and I actually responded like, are, and I tried to get him to clarify. I said, hey, are you saying that you want to fight Ben Shapiro? That you're looking to actually, because I was waiting for him to say something. And then I can be like, okay, well, it's one thing to want to get into a fight with someone. It's another thing to go pick on a little tiny, you know, guy like Ben, who's much smaller than you and doesn't train or whatever. But, you know, if it's not me, I can find someone your size and you can go fight him. Yeah. You know, don't be a, basically, don't be a bully piece of shit. Yeah, you know, it, which by the way, Tom Arnold, you are a mental midget. You are never going to be able to compete, even with Ben Shapiro, in an argument on any level about anything. Oh, intellectual argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An intellectual argument. You can maybe you can scream louder than him, but whatever. <laughs> but but nevertheless, in the discussion of greatness in fighting, I think you you need to look at numbers. Some of the, you so need to look numbers, at some of the numbers, and there's the magic. There is of some the myth. context also in that. Where did Alistair Overeem fight? Oh, we fought in Pride, where you could soccer kick people and stomp their heads and this and that. And so the 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 game environment is actually different too. There's so, more uncertainty. There's more chaos right. and Pride. There's more. Go back a little further and go like, what about the guys that used to like Dan Severn fought bare knuckle, head yeah. butts, the whole nine. You did, beat Dan Severn, right? I did beat Dan Severn. That was that was killing an idol, so to speak. Although I didn't really kill him because i still love him <laughs> you know he's still and i i mean he's still responsible for inspiration along this whole pathway you know yeah. it's it's meeting meeting your god and then putting a knife in it i guess Make, <laughs> uh realizing they're human and then uh, bringing them down well, to your level exactly but also uh, there's a there's a huge misconception there and that is that i could bring maybe i could bring dan severin down to my level but I couldn't bring his mustache down to my level. Uh, oh, it is it is of mythic proportions and uh, greater than yours. I Great, your facial you know, hair is greater than yours. My facial hair is 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 creating its own legacy, but it is not Dan Severn mustache level or now Don Fry mustache. So Don Fry mustache, Dan Severn mustache. You know, now you have like Shia versus Sunni. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> you think there will be uh, Karl Marx? uh like painting of josh barnett one day with the beard and is that is that basically what you're I hope so for? i'll i will actually comb my hair unlike marks but uh um Cha chaos is uh has a charm to it it so does it does i mean uh we all thought doc brown in back to the future was was quite charming so you have, uh, to, you have to throw that into the calculation where they fought yes I mean, this is the and, how, and the rules things. that they fought under you know some guy like eager of changing won a 32 man tournament or something like that. I go, okay. Uh Stipe and Daniel Cormier are awesome. And they may, they will, they will for sure be uh revered as when they're as for their careers, 100 percent Can you say that they're particularly even better overall than Eagle Wolf Chainchin? Well, maybe one of them could have beat them. Maybe, maybe one of them wouldn't have. 
You know, maybe maybe Eager would have fucking got him with the knuckles right away. Well, maybe if they fought him in Pride, they wouldn't have won. Maybe if they fought him bare knuckle, they wouldn't won. I don't know. And you there's know? something about the chaos. Like, do you put Hoyes Gracie in the top ten? You know, there's something Hoist, about uh, top ten of all time in terms of competitors uh, is capable. Um, I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Maybe not. But I because put Hoyes Gracie shit. as like pyramid level. Like, wow. Dude, what a what an amazing man! Yeah, he's so important, so, absolutely incredibly important. But there's something about stepping into uh, like fighting another human being mm -hmm. under all the uncertainty that the early mm -hmm. UFCs had. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't know yep. what is going to happen, and couple that with not much money. Yep, all of it. Yes. So that the purity of it too. There's something about money. I mean, that, I guess yes, shit for that yes. capitalist world, but that <laughs> ruins the purity of the violence. Yeah, people given the opportunity for. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the bigger things get, the more I love the fact that that fighting has opened up to such a degree that the career business side of it, because I I absolutely distinctly separate the two. The business side of it has opened up to give me far more possibilities, opened way more doors for me than I ever intended it to. Uh, whereas the the athlete side of things has, if anything, just gotten substantially worse, I would say. And uh, some of this can be, some of this is due to all the, the, the nature of all games will be learned, will be gamed uh without even the rules being broken and once that's figured out you need to make an adjustment no adjustments have been made so the game just appears to be the same game over and over and over and over and over again on espn plus on whatever on whatever on whatever it doesn't really matter which night you watch it's the same game constantly and that's not because the 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 athletes are worse or better it's because they have had that game uh, structure long enough that they figured out what do you do to be to be the most successful at it what is the highest percentage way of approaching it essentially even if you're not thinking of percentages